and you can tell this fan's on. However, it's not doing a bit of good. The reason I say that is because of this. The mold is getting worse. One thing's for sure. This has got to go. I was going to replace it anyway. But now it's a definite. It has been raining for six days straight. Non-stop. It, it hadn't even stopped for a few minutes. It just rained. So I guess me hoping that would get rid of the moisture was kind of dumb. So what I have to do is bring this, since it has a dehumidifier in it, it's supposed to be pretty powerful. I have to bring this down here and put it here, angle it the way it's going to be when we build the wall right here, and then here. This is going to be a giant cabinet up about four feet tall. And then the air conditioning unit is going to be down here in the bottom, down here, basically angled like this out. And the drain hose has to go right here. But first I have to go outside and make sure I can drill there. And it's still raining, so I'm trying to get wet. And I cannot take the phone with me. I'm going to set up the other camera I just got here. I was hoping it would be dry, but no. Alright, it's in place. I got it on dehumidify. And let's see if that does any good. Right now i got to tape this up or it's not going to do any good. Yeah. I'll try to get a little bit more done. I brought the charge controller out. Uh, here's the breaker box that I'm going to put underneath the bed. This is going right up here because when the wall is built with the other cabinet right here it will sit up here above me while I sleep. Here is 99% humidity. Let's find out what happens in a few minutes. Okay, we have no video. Okay, I got the first part done. This is the breaker box. The top one, I don't know if it's focusing or not. I can't tell. The top one is a 30 amp. That's going to be coming from the solar panels to here and then out from here to the charge controller. The bottom one is 63 amp. It's going to be coming from the charge controller in through here and out to the batteries which are right there. And two more are on their way. Yesterday was my birthday so I got a little bit of money for my birthday and I bought two more batteries for the battery bank. I'm going to get the charge controller put up now. It's going right up there. And I'll be right back. This is the inside of the charge controller. I took the base plate off. It is down in the floor. I guess now would be a good time for me to say I am not an expert. I'm only going by what I have studied over the last eight months. And the fact that I was on the phone with Renogy and Alt-E for <laughs> two hours. And both of them verified that what I plan is what I need to do. But this is not a how-to video. So please, if you're going to do this, get an expert. This is just how I'm doing it. Right now I have not put the screws in the back. It's, it'll still move back and forth like this, but it's not coming down. 
it's screwed in right there. The reason for that is it's not going to have much weight on it. And right now, it's not even going to be turned on. Well, actually, I'll turn it on to test it, but then it's turning right back off. Okay. Okay. I got everything hooked up, hopefully correctly. And if I did everything correctly, it doesn't look good right now. Doesn't need to. This is just a test. I'm going to take everything back out. Hopefully, if I did everything correctly, when I flick this, I won't blow up $750. Let's find out. It's going through test. So it's searching. One device, MPPT 60. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It works. It says night because there's no solar panel yet. Excellent. Thirteen point two volts. 13 Celsius, whatever that is. There's got to be a way to turn that to Fahrenheit. Probably when I get into the settings on the computer. Alright. Yeah, I did it correctly, so I can shut it off. Cool. Okay, I've shut it off. And I'm calling it a day. So far, and it, there's still water pretty much everywhere. I dried it up down there a little bit. This back here was wet. Right down there. So apparently, there's water coming in up here. And I think I know exactly where. Tomorrow it is not supposed to rain. I should be able to get out here. I'm going to have to run the battery charger to the truck batteries because they're dead. It will not start. It'll turn over barely and that's it. I don't have them hooked up to the house batteries for a big jump yet, but I'll get those charged tomorrow and bring the solar panel out, I hope, with the two new batteries. It'll be, it'll be six, which will put me at three times 190 is 570. It'll put me at 570 amp hours so far. solar panel at least I know I hooked the charge controller up correctly and everything's slowly progressing still 99% oh well thank you for watching